Greetings, I'm Kevin and this is Lucy. Hi! So, since it's kind of like a tradition here on Booktube to do the newbie tag, newbie booktuber tag, created by Brenda C, I thought I would give it a go. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? And honestly, I started it because I love books and that's kind of cliche, I know, but it's the truth. I am a teacher in English and Swedish, a big like chunk of both curriculums for upper secondary school where I teach. I teach 16 to 19 year olds and a big chunk of the curriculums for both Swedish and English has to do with literature. So I, I love reading, just ask myself books is a great way to escape, but I also read with my teacher glasses on to look, okay, does this have educational value? And there has been a lot of books that I picked up that I didn't rate very high, but I would definitely use them in education because they have educational value. Yeah, that's why I started this channel. So it has much ado about books. The second question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? And this is a very difficult question, I think, because like spontaneously, I would say that as a teacher, <laughs> definitely, but also as a trans person, I'm, I'm a trans guy, waiting in line for testosterone. And I am also queer, identify as queer, uh, because one part of my identity is asexual. I am on the ace spectrum, which is another thing that I think I don't know any asexual booktuber, and that is something that I know that I myself kind of felt a disconnect because I love reading romance books, but a lot of people reading romance books talk about the steamy romances in smut and it has like their own readathons and as a romance reader myself it can feel a little bit like I'm alienated because I'm asexual so being asexual I still enjoy books with steamy scenes like I I don't really care about that mostly when I read Akatar for the first time I skipped the sex scenes and I think some of you who love Akatar might Things like what what are you doing Kevin like why did you skip them but it's just like for me it's just kind of like a filler paragraph because sex isn't something that I'm interested in it has like nothing to do with me as an asexual person myself I think it would be very cool to have like that insight and to have actual like other people with this identity to look at me and say oh this person is like me. If I through my channel talking about asexuality and aromanticism and like those two spectrums and just to have one person watching a video and seeing like okay this is an asexual person who still reads romance and this is an asexual person who talks about this and the same thing goes with being trans pre-everything. I think that is also something that I can bring, like the trans perspective. Yeah, I think that gives a lot more to to talk about books when you yourself has a lot to say about that identity. The third question is, what are you most excited about with this channel? And I kind of answered this already. I'm really excited about the discussions that I can have with all of you about books and hidden meanings, everything, like talk about books with me. I would love that. But also, as I said earlier, if one person looks at one of my videos and says to himself that this is a person who understands I am like this person, if they can look at my, one of my videos and see themselves in, in me or that they can see that they have that kind of representation in booktube i think that's extremely important because honestly I, I would give everything for that i know how important it is to have someone to look at and feel like this person 
understands this person is like me I'm not weird, I'm not broken This isn't me, this isn't a face I'm not crazy This is real and this other person gets that And I think there are a lot of conversations that I can have with people because of that and thanks to that Isn't this mug extremely pretty? I think it's like really pretty and it has like this beautiful rim inside with just flowers I don't know how well you can see it but it's beautiful it's gorgeous now we're moving on to question number four why do you love reading and this is a very <laughs> difficult question to answer I just I I love reading I love learning I am a stereotypical teacher honestly 100% stereotypical teacher. I love learning and I love learning with my students. I love learning about things I don't know anything about and I love updating my views and getting new perspectives and understanding other people and learning from them and their experiences. That is something that I love and I feel like I get that from books. And also books are an escape and depending on the kind of book I'm feeling like reading, I get different experiences. And I love that about books, that they're just words until they've been given meaning. And then it's, they're a book. <laughs> and, and you have a lot of fun with books. They're a great escape. And for me, as uh, someone with multiple mental disorders, reading is a great escape. I love, I love reading because it always teaches me something new. Question number five. What book got you into reading? And this is a very easy question to answer because it's The Fellowship of the Ring. It's the first book I ever read and yeah, up until that book I had only read graphic novels and I never finished a single book that I started no matter what. So The Fellowship of the Ring is really the book that kind of cemented my love for reading. Question six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Well, there are a lot of questions that I would ask them. Something that I would really like want to know is how much their reading has changed and if some of them have lost their love for reading or if booktube has helped increase their love so that is i think the number one question i would ask and that is the number one question that i would ask and a second question that i would ask is teacher related and i would ask them if you have to pick one book to use in education to teach 16 to 19 year olds about one certain topic and that topic can be anything which book would you recommend question seven what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome i think the routine honestly the routine definitely actually because getting into it, getting used to it, getting used to like to uh, filming and uploading, keeping the schedule and kind of all of that because I am a person, I am an over uh, organizer. I love to keep lists. I love to be very organized with like, I need that structure so, so that I know that this and this and this, that's how it is and um, I did not mean to make that rhyme <laughs> but anyways um, I have a planner and I have a monthly planner and a weekly planner for videos so I, I have like that schedule uh, planned out and I am planning to upload uh, three times a week so three videos a week, a week um, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday this is my first Tuesday so that means that I've done this for a week now, which is kind of fun. Um, 
another challenge i think not celebrating small victories did i get like 10 views for this video or i have a new subscriber or anything like that to celebrate every single person every single view no matter and and not look at it and be like, and think that oh i don't have a thousand subscribers yet because of course i don't um but like celebrating the small victories that is something that i really want to do number eight when did you start reading uh, i was 15 years old and i read the fellowship of the ring you guessed it i talked about this a little earlier but that is the first book i read so i was 15 years old i was very late um, I had a lot of difficulties reading. I do have some kind of reading disability as well as issues with my eyesight. So I couldn't read for a very long time because I just, my eyesight being very, very bad. Uh, and that just made like it really difficult for me to read with my eyes, which is why I like, the majority of the books I read are by audiobook because relying on my eyes it just damages my eyes if that makes sense um, it makes a lot of sense to me because it's my my problem with my eyes so it's um, but because of that I couldn't really read um, when I was younger even though some books really intrigued me and interested me I just I couldn't do it because I, I couldn't, like, I physically couldn't. And it wasn't until I was 15 that I told myself that it doesn't have to take a week. Keep reading this book and stick to this book and see it through to the end. And because usually when I read, like, actual novels, I... I gave up because I felt so stupid honestly and I felt like I was horrible and reading wasn't for me and all of that so I just put it off but I decided that I love Lord of the Rings my first book and my first tattoo is Lord of the Rings I the same book Fellowship of the Ring and I decided that if there's one book that is going to that I'm going to read start to finish it's the fellowship of the ring so i went to the library and i i borrowed the book and i read it and i saw it through and i told myself 10 pages a day this was during the summer so i had like summer vacation and so i had free days every day was just a free day at my summer house with my granny so i had a lot of time so I just told myself 10 pages a day, 10 pages a day, and I stuck to it. And I am honestly very proud of myself, and I think that is something that I'm taking with me from that experience, that 10 pages is still 10 pages. It doesn't matter that someone else would have read 100 pages by then. I read 10 pages a day. It was the first book I ever read, and I am incredibly proud of myself, honestly. Um, the only regret I have about that experience is that I borrowed a book from the library and I didn't read a book I actually owned because having keeping that book and seeing this exact book, this edition, this everything, this is the first book that I read start to finish. It's this book. I think that would have been very cool but borrowing from libraries is always a recommendation it's always good question number nine where do you read and um, this is something I think a lot of people are surprised by because usually I read while working out um, which sounds strange to a lot of people but I read via audiobooks mostly and I love so I, I have a training bike. I have one of those in my apartment and I love when I wake up to just ride it and listen to an audiobook at the same time. Sometimes I have 
the ebook version on the kind of like the little thing where the um, the bike's screen is that says oh you've run this long or, or you've ridden the bike this long and like the amount of time you've spent your heartbeat and stuff like that so over that screen i put my ipad and i read the ebook uh, while listening to the book but usually i just listen to the book and i don't have the text in front of me yeah so working out usually other than that while doing chores listening to an audiobook while doing chores is something that i love doing and reading a book with my eyes is usually while i'm eating uh, before bed every time that i feel like i need to relax i don't really have a specific place where i read physical copies of a book but audiobooks i read everywhere doing anything so the last question is what kind of books do you like reading so i have I have a very like um, diverse taste. I love reading books that that explore diversity, and no matter if that's national diversity, ethnic diversity, racial diversity, linguistic diversity, socioeconomic diversity, gender diversity, queer diversity, any kind of queer diversity, like all of those things are things that I enjoy. And I prefer reading about some kind of diversity in books. Otherwise, it's just very kind of plain for me. Strong female characters is a must. Um, I love reading romances. I have learned very recently that I love fake dating. And I, I just, I don't, I don't know why. I love fake dating. There are a lot of tropes that I love in Women the Romance and I love queer representation, any kind of representation really. But I also love science fiction. I absolutely adore science fiction. I love myth mythology, so any book that contains mythological elements unless it's Norse mythology written by a non-Nordic author. Like that's a no-go. I am never going to read a book by a non Nordic author writing about North mythology, like no, I will not do that. I love fantasy, but I kind of, I don't know, I have had a lot of misfortunes with fantasy books lately, that the fantasy books that I've read, they haven't really been my cup of tea. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but I've had some difficulties with fantasy lately. Usually I read adult. That's another thing that I enjoy. Contemporary, those are the kind of books that I enjoy. So that was the newbie booktuber tag. Thank you so much for watching and good reading. Bye.